This is one of Isabella's classrooms for the year. I've already learned how to scrape a hide, which was a lot of work. <laughs> Instead of going back to school, she's studying online while also learning land-based skills. This time is a lesson in hide scraping from her auntie. Wow, that's a big moose. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well, let's stretch it out. This project isn't just a workout. She's learning about biology, chemistry, and traditional art. Her mom's also grateful to have Isabella out of a crowded classroom. We know it's really, really important to pay attention to what experts are saying, to pay attention to our elders' stories. And the elders are telling us that when the leaves fall, it's time for us to bunker down and to stay safe. You need that fluff as your fire starter. This elder teaches kids about medicine picking and survival skills right in the city. It's like being a grandpa, I guess, and you're teaching your grandchildren. Also gratitude that uh, somehow I was shared this and I retained this and then I can share it. Because we are a sharing society, we all are always trying to share. This fall, more parents are asking about alternatives. At this healing society, they're fielding more calls than ever. And the Assembly of First Nations National Chief sees this as an opportunity. People think that you can only learn math and science. Uh, according to a textbook. Well, not necessarily. And so those, those things uh, should be explored and they should be embraced as alternate, alternative teaching methods. For Isabella, there's nothing better. School system, it's good-ish, but I like learning on the land. So if you look at where I'm going... Several First Nation schools are also expanding land-based programs. So more Indigenous kids have that outdoor learning, like Isabella, Ariel Fournier, CBC line. News, Edmonton.